today I will be historing some history. A family who lived in the GDR behind the Iron Curtain gave me these old wooden planes as a gift. The previous owner passed away and now they consider me to be worth taking care of his tools. If you have a look at this one you can guess from the scratches on its sole how regularly it has been used. The body is made from beech wood and a good 60 years old. Its iron may be even older. The plane has seen the erection and fall of the Berlin Wall and surely served its owner very well. But now it's quite worn off. Time for me to bring it back to life. As you can see it doesn't plane well and will need some work. Some gentle hits with a wooden hammer help to disassemble the plane. First I want to get rid of the old paint. I don't like the color and the surface is a bit dirty anyways. I start grinding with 80 grain paper and go from 120 grain to 240 grain afterwards. The handle was loose and I use epoxy to glue it in place. Wooden glue wouldn't fill the gaps. In future I plan to do finer work with this plane. For this job the mouth opening needs to be shorter. That means I have to make a new sole. First I need the old sole leveled. Therefore I mark it with a pencil. That way I can see which parts are still low after grinding. What I need for this job is a flat surface. I just use this junk piece of a kitchen board. As I plan to use epoxy as glue, grinding with sanding paper of 80 grain is absolutely sufficient. It can be easily attached to the board by double sided tape and I prepare 120 and 240 grain paper for the following tasks as well. Be happy that video can transmit everything yet. The dust smells like gasoline. The good wood for a plain sole is horn beam. If you have the choice, have the annual rings perpendicular to the sole. It will make it sturdier. I transfer the rough shape of the plane and cut it out. The Poorman's router, like presented on Paul Seller's YouTube channel, ensures I get a leveled board. Clean water with a bit of dishwashing soap helps me to clean the surfaces from oil. You can't put too many clamps on it. The trick is not to fasten them too tight or you will squeeze out the glue. After a day of drying, it's time to remove the spare wood. Measuring the heights on all corners makes sure I am leveled. As the new sole closed the old mouth, I need to cut a new one with a chisel. I start to remove the center and let the tool cut away from the border before making cuts on the outside. The sole is leveled on 80 grain sanding paper and in the following smoothened with 120 and 240 grain paper. I also used the chance to smoothen the sides. When using the plane later it will get stuck and leave marks if I don't bevel the edges. To let it hold down the wood right in front of the blade, I leave the edge on the front of the mouth like it is. I use the wet cloth to clean the wood from sanding dust. This will make fiber ends stand up. The final sanding with 400 grain paper will take away these fibers and create a really smooth surface. I like Kettleboyd linseed oil as finish. This is different from pure oil as it hardens faster and it smells so much better than the old varnish. Make sure to drop the used cloth into water as a fast hardening oil may make it self ignite otherwise. After a hardening time of about 12 hours you could already be finished 
but this is a piece full of memories and therefore I want to somehow do it brighter than right. So I use 600 grain sanding paper and give the plane two more treatments with boiled linseed oil. My next task is to take care of the iron. One could use chemicals or steel wool to get rid of the rust, but I would like to try a method I saw on the Ranglaster YouTube channel. It was done with grinding stones there. I started on a 250 grain stone, but it came out that the iron was in such a bad shape that I needed to go back to 80 grain sanding paper. Usually you don't work on the whole bag, but I need to fix very bad scratches before I can try to get a sharp edge on it. This should be a once in a lifetime job for this iron. You can use a permanent marker on the blade's face. This will make it easier to identify when everything is grinded. The primary face should have about a 25 degree angle. When I build the final face, I switch to 30 degrees. Due to the blade's bad condition, I start on a 250 grain stone. Then I go over to 1000 and 3000. Lifting the iron sideways rounds the edges. This prevents the plane from leaving marks. The trick for the mirror on the back is to only create a small face. That way the sharpening process takes less time and you spare your stone. I use a piece of aluminium to tilt the iron. As I don't have a finer stone, I use polished paste on leather glued to a piece of wood to finish the blade. I also refine the edges of the chip breaker and use ballastol oil to conserve the metal parts. The chip breaker is fastened at maximum 1mm from the blade. Some people like to put their finger under the mouse when inserting the iron. I insert it on a flat surface that is not so hard that it damages the blade. Hitting the wedge only slightly makes it sit just tight enough. Use a soft hammer from wood or plastic. Control the position by looking along the sole. Put your fingers under the mouth to feel your adjustments. Hit the blade on the side if it's tilted. Hitting on the top makes it stick more out. When it went too far, hit the body's back. As the wedge also slides out, you will need to give it a gentle hit. That really works much better. The chips need to be paper thin such that you can read a newspaper through them. So this is my personal little Berlin Wall story. Without the peaceful revolution in the GDR, I would have never met the family and this wooden plane would never have been given to me. I really appreciate this gift. For me it's a sign of how welcome I am in this family. That is why I put so much effort into the restoration of this tool. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to have a look at my other videos. If you like, subscribe and follow me on your favorite social media to stay informed about the latest news and uploads.